Okay, here we know it's a Sokotoa question because of the right angle down here in the corner. First thing to do in Sokotoa is to figure out which angle we're going to work with. It's never the 90 degree angle, so in this case, 63 is given. We're going to work with that angle right there. The reason we have to decide which angle we're working with is so we can label the triangle properly. So remember that across from the 90 degree angle, this side is always called hypotenuse. Across from the angle we're working with, we call this the opposite side. And the third side is called adjacent. So now that we've labeled the sides, we can write out our formulas. So, ka and toa. And I have to ask myself the question, which, what do I know and what do I need? In this case, which side do I have a length for and which side am I looking for? So here I've been given a value for the opposite side and what I want to solve for is the hypotenuse. So I need to find the formula that uses O and H to help me solve. And that will be the first one here. So I'm going to write out that formula properly and it says sin of x degrees or sine properly sin of x degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. I'm going to fill in what I know into the formula. So instead of x degrees, I have the value. It's 63. So sin 63 equals opposite 12.2 over hype, which is x. It's the unknown value. Now here to solve this, I find it easiest to put this side over 1 as well and then I've got equivalent fractions. Once I have two fractions, one on either side of equals, I can cross multiply to solve. So I'm going to multiply my diagonal values, that's 1 and 12.2 are diagonal to each other, and divide by the other one. So here that looks like this, 1 times 12.2, and you could do 12.2 times 1, that wouldn't change anything, as long as you're then dividing those two by sin 63. When I press equals, I get 13 0.69 equals x. The reason I went to two decimal places is because I knew they were looking for the nearest tenth of a unit and I need this I need the place after the tenth to be able to round. So here's the tenths place. I look one spot to the right. If it's above five, which it is, this digit rounds up. So to the nearest tenth, 13.7 is the value I was looking for.